Oh, I've been very excited about the banks happening and all the other things that are going on in the uh, city at this moment, especially in over the Rhine and the prospect of maybe having a streetcar. We're all psyched that everything seems the, the ball's rolling, and we're really excited to see things getting done. Some market. Mark's up there. Yeah, there he is. He's up there. Yeah, I, said, uh, I guess we'd better behave yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? And I want to welcome all of you to the groundbreaking of the bank's development. This is a proud day for us here in Cincinnati, and we are honored to have with us a number of special, special guests who wanted to be with us today to help us celebrate the beginning of a new era in Cincinnati. So it's very important that we are joined by the leader of our state, because, of course, the state of Ohio is one of our partners in this project uh, not just on this project, but on many of the projects that we're working on throughout Southwest Ohio. So without any further delay, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you a great supporter of the city of Cincinnati and a true champion for the state of Ohio, my good friend, Governor Ted Strickland. Thank you, Thank you all very much. Looking out upon you and uh, looking at this gorgeous sky and these wonderful surroundings, I hope you will forgive me for reverting to one of my former professions when I say, this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is a beautiful day and you are beautiful people. I was thinking that this is the eve on which Martin Luther King made his speech, I've been to the mountaintop and I've seen the promised land. And he said, I may not get there with you, but we will get there. And it seems like that's what you're doing here. And it makes me very proud, rather than to be in Memphis, uh, to be here celebrating the future of people working together.